Hello. Welcome to Productions MJC. My name is Mark. Today I'm going to be discussing something that in the last few days has just come to really irritate me. A flat earth predator is asking the question, how high do you have to go before you can see curve? Really, this person preys on the ignorant, gullible, and lost. Being ignorant doesn't mean you're stupid, it just doesn't, you don't know. It means you don't know. Gullible, basically the same thing. You don't know. And so this person is relying on that, that you don't know, in order to prey on your inability to understand or reason out what's happening. In that, I mean, this is a representation of what a 50 millimeter lens will look like uh, on a, you know, projected onto your field of view, whatever pictures behind it. This, however, is a fisheye lens, about 38 millimeter, because it doesn't warp it as bad as, say, a 24 or so, but it does warp it. But they are relying on the way they present fisheye to mean fake and totally wrong and won't work and it's, and it's broken, basically. Well, fisheye does distort, but you'll notice right along that center line, it doesn't bend things at all. Above the center line, it bends things up. Below the center line, it bends things down. That is mostly what flat earthers won't tell you, is how it works. Because you can see, obviously see this is straight as a board. This is straight as straight can be. But with a fisheye lens, it tends to bend it and distort it. But you'll see these boards that normally point straight out and don't come to a convergence point do come to a convergence point here in the center. Now, as you look, I placed what's called a mask over it. The, I blended the two images to show you what it means. The edge of this building forms right along there. So does this edge. They don't tell you that you can reason out with your mind what is happening here. On my Flat Earth video, I go into more details about that on, on the Flat Earth Trolls. But what I'm trying to explain to you is this predator preys upon your lack of knowledge of something, which isn't stupidity, it's just you don't know about it. I don't know about being a diesel mechanic, I'm totally ignorant of that, but that doesn't make me stupid. Now this, on the other hand, this is from his video where he is trying to say you're stupid. He tells you that the earth is flat. Well, there it is. That doesn't look flat. This is from his video at 2 minutes and 59 seconds into that video. The green line is the center that we saw doesn't warp things. This is the horizon from edge to edge, and you can see that it's being bent down because that's what fisheye does. This is what I mean when I put this mask over this and show you this white line, it bends it down. So that's being bent down, so that's okay. However, just 13 seconds later, same video, it has moved up a little bit. This is up high, but it is nowhere near the height that he claims it is, yet here it is bending up. Let me put the mask on again and show you. Here's the center where it doesn't bend anything at all, up or down. It's neutral. Now this is bending up when in fact it should be bending down. So that difference upward bend tells you that once it gets to the center line it's going to bend up quite a bit because there is curvature. This is from his video three minutes and thirteen, no three minutes and twelve seconds into the video. Now at three minutes and twenty seconds into the exact same video here is a screenshot and here is the horizon and lo and behold, it's really bending up because there is curve. There is curvature, and here it is, right there. But this is the neutral line where it doesn't bend things up or down. And that is bending up on its own because there is curvature. He doesn't, and he lies to you and tells you it's flat. And you can see it's not flat. This is a fisheye lens. You can tell it. This is a straight wall. This is a woman standing against a straight wall, and it bends the bottom down and the top 
up above a certain center line. There's the center line, there's the mask to help you understand where it's bending it up and down. Now, if you look at this, this is from, an, from that Flat Earth Trolls video of mine, where I go into much more detail, but you can see here's the center line. This black line represents where the line of the mask of the GoPro fisheye would bend it. However, the orange indicates an upward trend this far below that center line. So once that approaches the center line, that will bend up because in reality, it is bending up. There is quite a curve there. And this is what it looks like in reality. But they don't, they want to say, oh, this is GoPro and it needs to be changed. No, this is a 50 millimeter lens. This is not GoPro. This is an actual shot. So, in, in some other instances, they tell you that water rises up to block your view of buildings on the other side of a lake. There's another uh, predator out there that tells this in his video. He says that exact same thing. Water's always flat. Oh, and by the way, it bends up to block your view of buildings. Water bends up. No. There is 603 feet of that CN Tower being blocked. This is a view from Alcott Beach, New York going over to Toronto. That's the CN Tower. The water is blocked by curvature. Maybe you can't see it, but there it is there because the water doesn't rise up. They're playing on your ignorance of how the world really works. This is a fraud. It makes Australia look bigger than the United States when it's actually smaller in reality. This is actually the brainchild of a faith healer preacher who was in control of Zion, Illinois back in 1906. He made the whole city decide. Uh, well, he taught flat earth in his schools and everything else. He actually improved upon another person's uh, vision of flat earth. But Wilbur Glenn Bolivia decided that the sun and moon were 3,000 miles above us and 32 miles in diameter. The previous person said, yeah, they were 32 miles in diameter, but it was only 700 miles above us, which uh, didn't work out, didn't prove out. So you flat earthers are all going off the 1906 invention of a faith healer preacher that said he was going to live forever and died of cancer in 1942. This is also what they tell you. At noon, the sun is giant, and it gets tiny as it goes down. It doesn't. You can watch it. If you video it without proper polarization filters on, now I've been a photographer, amateur photographer, into photography for over 35 years. Uh, I mostly use an, X, uh, an X700 Minolta, an old school, really old school, uh, camera with film. I don't use digital and they, if they don't put the proper filter on there, it will cause lens flares and it will cause the sun to look larger than it is on film, but when you're seeing it in real life, you can tell. They're fooling you. They're intentionally trying to play on your ignorance of how polarizing filters work. How many of you go fishing? Do you wear Polaroid sunglasses so that you can see the fish underwater? It takes away the glare and the flare. If you use a polarizing filter on a camera, you can see that that sun or moon stays the exact same size all through its transition across the sky. And you can take a, a slow, uh, slow motion camera, you can take uh, a regular camera and photograph at intervals, you can take all sorts of stuff. You, you could actually take this with just overlaying multiple shots with a five dollar throwaway camera if you just over you know made it still this these sequences show the moon stays at exactly the same size you can do this on your own and that's what I always recommend do these videos do, do these experiments on your own don't trust them because he, you can see he lied to you flat out lied and said well this is flat it wasn't flat at one point it was bending down because the GoPro fisheye bent it down at one point, it was bending up 
against the GoPro bending it down. But once everything was dead center, there was your curve. So, thanks for watching. I don't think that you are ignorant. I think that you have been played for a fool by these predators. And I suggest you do the experiment. Grab a ruler or a yardstick. Super glue it to the end, a, a ping pong ball to the end, and then hold it out as the moon comes up over the horizon. Hold it and block nearly 100% of the moon and get that ping pong ball on that stick so you can hold it against your chest. Then when the moon goes up to its apex, you'll see it's the same size. And then when it sets, it's the same size. Don't be fooled by their slick presentations. Like I said, this predator who's putting out this video asking how high you have to go to see curvature is making fun of you. He's showing you a video that has curvature in it. And he's telling you, oh, it's GoPro, it's fake. If you understand how the world works around you, you will understand they're lying to you. So please like and subscribe. I know it, it's going to bother you to understand we really do live on a globe. You don't understand how or why. And obviously, unless we went in uh, up high enough, we wouldn't be able to see it either. Explorer 2 in 1935 went up 72,000 feet, and they filmed curvature. So spread the word. Keep the truth flowing. Let's get these jokers off the Internet, out of our face, and stop lying to us. I am not telling you that everything that everybody tells you is the truth. Don't believe me. Go out and do the experiment for yourself, and you'll go, uh... You'll, you'll understand. Blow it up on a big screen, on your TV. Stretch a piece of string across it and see they're lying to you through their teeth. This predator knows he's lying. You can tell by the way he acts. Screaming and yelling like an old-fashioned faith-healing preacher, uh, he's just a fraud. He's selling you snake oil. Stop buying it. Shut him down. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. This has been Mark with Productions MJC.